We have got a just two fantastic drives drove the ball 60 and 50 yards and 85. Have the opening kickoff of the 80. 18. He comes to the left side to the 25, the 30, and he's hit and dropped by Brett Raley at the 34 to the left side. To the right comes two men, Dale Gregory and Sean Robinson. Stand the single setback. The man in motion, Brandon Harrell to the near side. Graves goes straight back to pass. First down, fires the pass. It's knocked down by number 79, Clarence Williams. He's one of the top defensive players on this team, and he showed why on that play. He comes to the near side. Howard splits far to the left side. The single setback again is spanned. He set a little bit to the left of Graves. Graves goes back to pass. Over the middle of the pass is caught by Dale Gregory. Gregory gets past the 45. That is Brandon Harrell, rather. Pitchback is to the near side. Harrell comes in motion to the near side. The pitchback is to Span. Span gets to the 50 to 48 yard line before he's finally knocked out of bounds across the way. By number pass. It's a got play. Span fumbles the ball. And there is a. Graves goes back to pass. It's a draw play. Span fumbles the ball. And there is a recovery on the play by the Tallulah Dragons. John Spann was hit as soon as he got the ball, fumbled it, and the ball was recovered by the quarterback is Ken Reeves. He comes out with Thomas and Jackson behind him, and there's a fumble on the play. No flag was Thomas and Ernest Jackson. Two fast scatbacks behind him in the split back formation. Two receivers split left and right, and the whistle again, and we have Fred off in. Two setbacks behind him. Pitches the ball back to Ernest. Ball back to Ernest Jackson around the right end. Jackson is hit by Hudson as Steve Hudson and Mike Shepard make the stop along with John Spann. And he loses down 25. Ball is back to pass. Goes the quarterback. Fires a long pass downfield. It is incomplete. It is dropped by number 83. That's Kevin Jackson, the wide receiver. And Kevin Jackson hits the ball. Chip. Back to Jackson. Jackson around the left end gets a block, but it's finally tackled after a short game by John Spann and also Dale Gregory. And a very short gain on the play of three yards. Fourth down and 22 yards to go for the first down. Bailey is the punter. He stands back on his own. Here's the punt. It's a low line drive coming to the up man. Robinson at the 30. Robinson goes to the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50. And finally, he slides down at the 45 yard line in Tallulah territory. And the first quarter, no score. OCS in Tallulah opens the 85 season. Harrell goes in motion to the left side. Back to pass goes Gray. Fires a pass over the middle to Howard. It is complete. Down to the 30 five-yard line for a first down inside the 35 to the 33. And Jason Howard to the far side now is Gregory, the man in motion, Harrell. Graves wants to pass again. He's looking Howard's way. Fires a pass. It's knocked down at the line of scrimmage by Clarence Williams, number 79. That's his second batted ball against Saul Graves. And Mr. Williams has been in. Robinson splits far to the left. The man in motion against the grain is Harrell. The handoff on the cross buck is Sands. Sands hit low by Williams. Williams makes another excellent on third and nine to be exact. The ball at the Tallulah, 33. A man in motion near side, Harold Graves deep drop this time. Fires the pass to the left sideline overthrown. Intended for Howard, and it falls incomplete. Fourth and nine. The ball remains. Straight back to pass. Game. Fourth down and nine. The ball at the Trojan 33-yard line. Graves goes straight back to pass. Looking across field. Now he's being rushed out of the pocket. He is tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Bubba Todd. Number five line in Tallulah territory. No score. 8-13 left to play in the game in the first quarter. Reeves goes back. Hands the ball to Ben Thomas. Thomas gets around the left side. He is being chased and pursued and tackled by John Spann. After that run play, Ben Thomas there. Reeves has the ball. Tallulah has the ball. Reeves has the ball. Pitches the ball again to Jackson. Jackson slips and almost falls. Cut upfield to the 45. A good dashing run. He's finally tackled by Steve Hudson. Tallulah has the ball. Reeves has the ball. Fires a pass over the middle. It's caught and dropped by Kevin Jackson, number 83. He had the first down, but he just dropped the ball. Brett Rayleigh goes back to punt. He'll be standing on his own 35 yard line out in center of another low line drive now rises good punt robinson gathers it home and slips and falls and the referee was late blowing the whistle but robinson can't get up and run the ball and so now ocs will take over deep harrell comes to the running back position and uh, going back in the slot at first and ten the ball at the 20, the pitch back is to Harrell. Harrell jukes two tacklers, fumbles the ball, and Tallulah recovers. Tallulah has recovered the second fumble. Ed Nash, number 60, the nose guard, made the fumble recovery, and ball at the Eagle 22. 6.30 left to play in the first quarter. No score around the right side. He's hemmed up and dropped quite effectively by John Spann. We've seen Spann on the near side and Spann on the far side, and we could be calling his number all night long. Well, he's big. 
That's what makes this OCS defense so good is they've got a line of going back to passes, going back to passes, going back to passes, Reeves. He delays. Now he steps back, fires a pass over the middle. It's caught by Jackson. Jackson will score a touchdown. Kevin Jackson, number 83, caught the bullet over the middle, and he scooted into the right corner of the end zone, and the Eagles find themselves in an unfamiliar position behind six to nothing. Fumble and is recovered by OCS, so the extra point attempt is no good. And we'll hold it right here with 541 left. What's the key so far, JT? I know the two fumbles have got to be really uh, one kick. It's a good kick. A line drive kick coming to Robinson. Gathers it home at the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30. Robinson carries the tackler past the 35-yard line. A good run back by Sean Robinson. Five foot eight, and he showed a lot of courage that time as he in the ball. And they have two setbacks in front of Brandon Harrell, the tailback. The pitchback of Brandon Harrell, the tailback. The pitchback is the Harrell who's hit behind the line of scrimmage and dropped by number 30, Brett Raley, and also number 85, Larry Gathright, who gets to out, fired up, ready to play in the opening game. The pitchback is to uh, Jason Howard. The running back is swarmed under it behind the line of scrimmage once again, and the Tallulah defense is swarming all over the place. And, and as you look at their defense, Right. Third down and ten. Uh, right now, Toulouse brings a pass downfield. It's caught by Brandon Harrell for a first down. Past the 50 to the 48-yard line. A beautiful sideline pattern as Brad Harrell oh, Graves yeah. short drop back. Fires a pass. It is pushing. Yeah. Oh, Graves short drop back. Fires a pass. It is caught by Jason Howard at the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown. Jason Howard has just tied the game on a 48-yard touchdown pass. Going back is great. Is great. He's being rushed and dropped out of the pocket by number one, Vincent Thomas, the head defensive point down and about 30 to go. Brandon, no. Brandon Harrell comes in motion. Graves looks long. He, Harrell comes in motion. Graves, of course, will pass. Now he looks long. He goes deep. The receiver is Howard, but he's overthrown, incomplete. Number 20, Sean Douglas defending. motion is Harold. The pitchback is to Stan. Stan has a hole. It's hit and dropped by Brett Rayleigh, one of the linebackers. Rayleigh made a tremendous defensive stick on John Stan. He's in motion. Graves won't power. Fires the pass to him. He catches the ball and he hit and uh, dropped. Not really dropped, but stopped by the cornerback, number 20, Sean Douglas. Just back at Eagle Stadium, David Matthews with J.C. Thompson. 51 seconds left, first period. OCS trailing Kalula 6 to nothing. The Eagles highly ranked, highly written about during the 8-yard line in Tallulah. Graves drops deeply in the pocket. String pass to Span. Span cannot hold on. It's incomplete. It was overthrown, and the Eagles will be forced into their first punt of the ball game. And back at his own 38-yard line to punt the ball, and it's uh, a good punt, a very high one. Traveling down, it hits at the 20 and bounces out of bounds right at the 20-yard line. So Tallulah takes over, first and 10 at their own 20, and Jackson gets the ball, and Jackson gets the ball, and he's stacked up at number one, Benton Thomas, rather, stopped at the line of scrimmage by Mike Shepard and company as the eight seconds left to play in the quarter. Here's the handoff is to Jackson, who squirts through and almost gets the first down. He's very close to the Tallulah first down, and I think he's got it. He might be really fired up to play them. It's a handoff is to Thomas, and Thomas is caught behind the line of scrimmage by a lot of Eagles. Getting up the quarterback. Sends out Jackson to the right side. Goes back to pass now. He's being rushed out of the pocket. Fires it over the middle. Almost intercepted by Dale Gregory, but he drops the ball. But a good defensive play by Gregory and bring up third down in 12. And Nash, number 15, he'll run the squad. He pitches the ball back to Thomas around the right side. Thomas goes out wide, and now he's hemmed up, and he's finally hit and dropped by about the entire Eagles squad led by 86 Casino Smith, who makes the stick on him. Ball's at the 22-yard line. Rayleigh sent. He gets a low snap from center. No rush. A very good punt. Powering punt. Sending Robinson back, and he goes out of bounds uh, at the 33-yard line as OCS will take over on their own. As Brandon Harrell in motion to the far side, going straight back to pass his grades. He's being rushed by Nash, and Nash drops him behind the line of scrimmage the second time. But Nash has got him, and the third time, 
Petalula goes all the way pushed back to the 22-yard line. Harold goes... Harold cut up field too soon as the Eagles continue to sputter on offense. His fan gains about three or four yards on the play, but...
team. The 20 to 25, and he's finally tackled on the far side of the field by Mike Shepard.
placing second and six yards to go. Comes to the near side this time. First and ten. The ball inside the Toledo 40. There's a draw play to Span. Span gets around the end to the 35. He's coming to the 30 and plays a tackle inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. As John Span gets 12 yards. and 10, the ball's at the 47 in their own end of the field. Eagles in 5-2 defense. Handoff is to Rayleigh. Rayleigh is racked down. Steve Hudson makes the hit, but Shepard gets off last. And Shepard wraps him up. <laughs>
Case goes back to pass. Sideline passes to Michael Robinson. Jody Johnson. Johnson. Johnson, the lone setback behind Saul Graves, the senior quarterback, goes back to pass. Fires a pass. He nails it. It was a little high. And the defender of the play is now getting it. Two degrees at the moment. 816 and 817. Great back to pass. Second down play. Fires a pass. It's caught. Second and ten. Nash goes straight back to pass. He has time this time. Fires a long pass downfield. It is intercepted and dropped by Sean Robinson, who had it but could not hold on to it. Third down and ten. And
Johnson. Johnson is hit. And the middle lift. Marcus Perry is drilled to the ground by Clarence Williams as Bearden over first in tight now. So Robinson, he just has to snap the ball and fall on it. Saul Graves takes the ball, falls down to the ground. That will be the last play of the game. The clock running down. Seven seconds. Graves number right side to the near side is Robinson. Give is to span past the 20 yard line, gets all the way up to the 24, gained six yards on the play, second and four. As on that cross section, but oh, John Span ran sack back to pass, short drop. Here's a long pass down to Jason Howard, who cannot catch up with the ball as it was overthrown. Defending on the play is the safety Fred Locke, and the incomplete pass makes it on a big third down play. Penalty marker on the field. The pass is caught by Robinson. He dives for the first down and he has it. But remember the yellow markers, one in the defensive backfield and one on the line of straight back in the pocket. He fires the pass overthrown intended for Howard on the left lat, and it was incomplete, and it brings up second and 10. This is a week ago, and now let's see what he does on a big second and 10 play. Span up the middle, Span has a hold of the 45-yard line. He gets all the way to the 47. He gains 10, 11 yards on the play to the 48-yard line, and the Eagles pick up their second. First down on this first test, moving Earth to Span up the middle to the 50. Span breaks loose to the 45 of Delta. He's to the 40, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, and he's corralled out of bounds inside the 20-yard line all the way to the 17. John Span broke that tackle out of the left sideline and just raced down the left sideline, JT. A tremendous run from his own 48 down inside the 20-yard line. Graves goes straight back to pass now. He fires a pass. It's complete to Harrell. Harrell steps out of bounds at the 15-yard line, and let's call it the 10. He gets all the way to the 10. He gains a good 10-yard line. They still have about uh, three yards to go for the first down as OCS marching methodically here, aided by back to pass is Graves, and he's being rushed out of the pocket and dragged down from behind by number 89, and that's uh, James Price, a big defensive end and also a uh, tight end on offense, and James Price back to pass is Graves. He's being rushed out of the pocket, and he's tackled down by free safety, number 42, Fred Locke, or that's number 44, Freddie Miller, who makes that particular stop. <laughs> Saul Graves goes back. It's a fourth down pass. He lost it deep into the right corner of the end zone, and it's dropped by Jason Howard, who had it, and he dropped it at the last moment. Defended back Patterson and Freddie Miller in the I formation behind him. The man in motion is James Price to the left side. The pitch back is to Miller around the left side. He has a hole. He gets to the 33, and finally his feet are flipped out from under him by Sean Robinson on the far side. A tremendous play by the center right tackles Patrick Ford. Pitch back is to Miller around the other side this time. He does have a hole, and he's gone to the 45, the 50, the 45, the 40, and finally Sean Robinson brings him to the turf inside OCS's 40-yard line all the way to the 36. John Wilson sends Price in motion. The handoff is to Patterson. Fumble on the play, and the Eagles have recovered it. Number 66, Mike Shepard, made the stick in the fumble recovery, and the Eagles take over an excellent field position, and this could be a great ball game. The 37 man in motion, Jason Howard, and offside it is by number 78, Andre Brown. He's their nose guard. JT. He's the one everybody's talking about on defense. A little bit too over anxious on that particular play.
bounces the ball off to Spann. Spann gets a big hole and gets seven or eight yards past the 45, inside the 45, down to the 43-yard line where he picks up a good seven yards on that of the territory. Great ball game so far. Graves in the pocket, fires a pass. It is almost caught by Jason Howard, but incomplete. Howard dove for the ball, slightly overthrown, and it's going to be a third down in four play now from the 43. Big third down play coming up. Right, big third down play. Draw play to Spann. Spann has a first down and more. He breaks a tackle. He gets inside the 30, and he breaks another tackle. Down to the 25-yard line. John Spann shows why he's Mr. Determination. He has really showed why he wants to win, and he wants to play. And Howard to the far side. Spann uh, goes in motion now. Flag is down. Graves is tripped up. Fires a pass. It's almost intercepted, but not quite. But another yellow flag on the field, and this Sawgrave's knee must have touched. Here's the punt by Robinson, very short, and it's going to the right sideline, and it goes out of bounds. It's a very short punt. Line of scrimmage was the 48-yard line, and they're going to mark it inside the 40. Let's call it the 36 in price as Tyrone Wilson, the quarterback, wants to pass over the middle. It's caught by number 80, and he gets all the way past midfield to the 45-yard line. A penalty marker on the field nullify that pass to their big tight end number 90, Reggie Bates. No. Tyrone Wilson goes to Freddie Miller. Miller has that same play. He's being bottled up and finally tackled by a host of Eagles, led by Ted Davidson, number 63. Shepard gets off the stack, as does Mike Graham, the sophomore, as the Eagles, along with Dale Gregg's team. He goes back to pass. He's now swinging a pass out to Miller. Miller is caught and dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Tim Mosher and another Eagle whose number I can't see at the moment. It is... <laughs> Can't see who it is, but a, a loss on the play. It was David Rep on the... His man goes in motion, his price. Wilson fires the ball out to Locke. Penalty marker on the play. Locke gets by Casino Smith, but he does not get by two other Eagles. Rep on on the play. Brandon Harrell makes the tackle. All thrown Wilson. The snap is over his head. Wilson, though, gets it and gets a pretty good punt away. Brandon Harrell takes it at the 40-yard line. He tries to come to the left wall. Gets by one tackler, but he is ripped to the ball to the ground on a vicious tackle by number 79, Willie Lenore. Side. Saw Graves, the quarterback, goes straight back to pass. He's being rushed out of the pocket, and he is being dropped behind the line of scrimmage. And that is the third quarterback sack. And number 70 is in on the tackle. For Here's the draw play to Span. Span is hit by Brown and Lenore. Finally dropped by number 32 as well on that play. Donald Patterson as Span gets very little yardage. Give a quarterback. Of course, wants to pass. Fires a long, long pass. Jason Howard cannot reach it. It's thrown out of bounds. Defended on the play by number Brown there in the middle of that uh, Delta line. Oh, a beautiful punt by Sean Robinson as the punt goes all the way back. Fumble on the play. And the Eagles recover the ball. Casino Smith made the recovery at the 25-yard line as the Eagles get another big break. That punt traveled afternoon and tonight. Saul Graves goes back on first down. He's being rushed out of the pocket. It is a screen pass, and it's dropped by Brandon Harrell. It was a smart call, and now we have a little shoving on the field. No penalty. Graves goes back to pass. Fires a pass to the right flank. It's complete to Howard at the 20 to the 15-yard line, and Jason Howard goes all the way to the 10. He gains 19 yards on that particular play. A little slant right up the middle, and Graves hit him between the letters, between the numbers, 88, and the Eagles 10. He hands the ball off to no one, and Saul Graves on a busted play is dropped by number 70, Everett Bradshaw, 6'2", 210-pound junior, first period. Graves goes back to pass, fires a long pass downfield to Howard, who has the ball, and a penalty marker on the field. They'll call interference against Delta. Howard jumped over the defender, number 24, Terrence Tappan, made an excellent catch close to the goal line at about the three-yard line.